not subscribe to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button as shown above hello friends welcome to kamath astrology in today's video we will talk of a different concept so there is something called as maturity age related to planets and in this video we will delve deeper into this subject and try to gain a very thorough insight about what exactly is meant by the maturity age of planets now look at the chart on the screen and the chart gives the maturity age corresponding to every planet so if you see jupiter's maturity age is 16 years maturity age corresponding to sun is 21 years maturity age corresponding to moon or chandra is 24 years maturity age corresponding to mars or mangal is 28 years maturity age corresponding to saturn or shani is 36 years maturity age corresponding to rahu is 42 years and maturity age corresponding to ketu is 48 years now what exactly does this mean now if you apply a bit of logic if you think logically you know that the planets have been in the universe for hundreds of thousands of years so what does it mean that jupiter matures at 16 years sun matures at 21 years moon matures at 24 years and so on now this maturity age is not referring to the age at which a particular planet matures it is referring to the age at which you attain the maturity to deal with the real essence of that planet or the real effects being given by that planet now let us delve a bit deeper now if you see the second row in this table you can see that the maturity age corresponding to jupiter is 16 years now what exactly does jupiter signify jupiter is a guru he is a teacher and he imparts divine knowledge he imparts higher learning jupiter is also the significator of children he is also the significator of auspiciousness and marriage now when you are born you undergo a certain kind of schooling system most of us will have gone to school where we learn something from a guru a teacher or multiple gurus or multiple teachers and then around the age of 16 comes the time when you have to use this knowledge to select a particular stream which will decide your future course of action or your future career direction for example in the indian system at around the age of 16 to 17 years that is the time when you have to appear for the board exams and you have to decide whether you want to go for science commerce or arts or some other streams so this is the point where it is most important that you receive the right guidance so that you can select the right stream aligned to your own potential and skills and therefore it is said that the maturity age of jupiter is 16 years 16 years is the point where you need the best kind of guidance because that point will decide a lot of important things in your future life so that is where a guru is required the most and that is also the point where the guru gives you the right direction and you are mature enough to understand what the guru is telling you and take a wise decision jupiter is also a divine guru jupiter also signifies god and auspiciousness so around 16 years is the right age when you should start thinking of higher learning higher knowledge spirituality and other things you should just start thinking is what i am saying 
I am not saying you have to go full fledged and implement something. And therefore, it is said that Jupiter's effects are more pronounced at the age of 16 years because that is the time when you need to take a very wise decision and only a guru, a teacher can help you at that point. It is not that Jupiter does not give you the effects of its Mahadasha, Antardasha before the age of 16. It does give effects. But at the age of 16, you are mature enough to understand what needs to be done with Jupiter's energy. Similarly, Jupiter is the Karka for marriage. Jupiter is the Karka for children. So at the age of 16, a woman's body also becomes capable to bear children. Therefore, as per the government rules, an adult is 18 years and above. So that is the point where Jupiter's effects will be maximum and you should be mature enough to handle Jupiter's energy. Similarly, let us look at the sun. The maturity age corresponding to the sun is 21 years. Why is this so? Sun signifies fame, sun signifies authority, power, sun signifies the king, the government, sun also signifies independence. So once a student joins college, he desires to be independent, he desires to attain fame, he desires to attain power, he desires to attain authority. In other words, he is now dealing with the sun's energy. Sun is also a king who is very responsible and therefore 21 years is the age when you should be very responsible in life. You should understand the power structures. You should understand the importance of how to not misuse your independence. You should also understand the world in general. It is also a time when you can shine in life like the sun shines everything. Its light falls on. So this is the time when you should work hard, you should study hard and you should try to attain something good in life so that you shine like the sun. That is why it is said the maturity age of the sun is 21 years. Now let us move to the moon. The maturity age corresponding to the moon is given as 24 years. Why is this so? What does the moon represent? Moon represents your mind, your emotions. Moon also represents nurturing, motherly love. Moon also represents the queen. So what this means is, at the age of 24, you should have a mature mindset to take the right decisions and progress further in life. You should have the right balance of emotions and practicality and you should also have a caring and nurturing nature. That is why it is said the maturity age corresponding to the moon is 24 years. So if you are running the Mahadasha of the moon in this time, you will feel its most mature effects at the age of 24. Now one entry which I could not fit in this table was Venus or Shukra. The maturity age of Venus or Shukra is 25 years. What does this mean? When you become 25 years, you start thinking about relationships and that is the age when you should be mature enough to deal with relationships in your work life, at your home, as well as thinking about finding a right partner. So it is said that Venus matures at the age of 25 or rather you become capable to deal with Venus's energy best at the age of 25. So 25 is the age when you should become mature in relationship and not behave like a childish person. Now let us come to the maturity age of Mars. So maturity age corresponding to Mars is 28 years. Now what does Mars actually represent? Mars represents the actions you take. 
मार्स रिप्रेजेंट्स युअर ड्राइव युअर एग्रेशन युअर पॉवर युअर अँगर अँड देअर फोर ॲट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट यू शूड बी मॅच्युअर इनफ टू यूज युअर पॉवर इन अ राईट वे अँड ऑल्सो टू कंट्रोल युअर अँगर अँड नॉट रॅन्डमली गेट अँग्री ॲट एनी बडी सो ट्वेंटी एट इयर्स इज कन्सिडर्ड द एज वेन यू आर मॅच्युअर इनफ टू डील विथ your own power your own anger and your own authority now after mars the next planet to be considered is mercury again not present in this table but the maturity age corresponding to mercury is given as 32 years why is this so mercury represents communication mercury represents logical skills analytical ability marketing ability business skills so at the age of 32 you should be mature enough to decide what you want to do in life what kind of business you want to do in life what kind of skills you have acquired which will help you in your career in your business mercury is also your skills and hobbies and this is the right age when you can be an entrepreneur or a person working for a company or some other kind of work based on your skills and knowledge so this is considered the age at which you are best equipped to deal with mercury's effects and so the maturity age corresponding mercury is 32 years now let us move to the next planet which is saturn or shani and the maturity age corresponding to this planet is 36 years now what exactly does saturn or shani denote it represents duty it represents commitment it represents hard work perseverance responsibility it also indicates obstacles hurdles so at the age of 35 to 36 that is a peak time in your life when you have to work very hard you will have to set up your family have children and there will be a lot of responsibility on you in terms of your work environment in terms of your family and at this age you sh- you are considered mature enough to handle those responsibilities therefore it is said that at the age of 36 saturn's maturity age is reached that is you are now equipped to deal with saturn's energy in the best way so if at this point in time you are having shani mahadasha definitely certain events will trigger at the age of 36 which will test your maturity so 36 is definitely the age where you need to be responsible aware of your duty towards yourself your family as well as towards others now the maturity age corresponding to rahu is said to be 42 years why is this so rahu represents illusion rahu represents smoke rahu represents material things obsession greed and by the time you reach the age of 42 you would have gone through all kinds of scenarios in your life in your workplace and that is the right time when you should understand that greed alone material pursuits alone will not give you true happiness and that is the time when rahu matures or rather you get a better understanding of the way rahu's energy works and deludes you and therefore this is the maturity age of rahu where you slowly start getting rid of material obsessions and running behind wealth money and power now let me move to the last node or planet that is ketu now what does ketu represent ketu always represents isolation ketu represents leaving behind material things going into isolation separating from people separating from things wherever ketu is placed he tries to separate you from the significations attached to that house or that sign and if he is with a planet again he will try to separate you from the significations attached to that planet So 48 years is the age when you need to plan about your retirement about leaving things say 10 years down the line and that is the point when ketu is set to mature it is the point when you should think of your spiritual path your spiritual goals having completed 
all material things and now trying to slowly withdraw away from material things so it is said that ketu matures at the age of 48 years that is at the age of 48 years that is when you should truly utilize ketu's energy to decide on your spiritual path and to decide on how you want to manage your retired life your spiritual progress so 48 years is the point when you should slowly start leaving your obsession for material things and moving towards a spiritual path so friends that's all from my end if you like this video please mark it as liked on youtube to know more about us visit our website astroseva.tripod.com for any queries write to us at astroseva world@yahoo.com